Hi, welcome back to today's more report. Charles Fraser was on Monday, the 29th of June, with me, which pay market analyst at Antec Markets. Moving on to sterling dollar now. Um, cable has been ve- relatively sort of stable. Um, not too bad. Not too much of a, a significant overflow from that euro selling pressure, which would have driven a stronger dollar or has driven a stronger dollar. But that support at 56.66 is very interesting because 56.64, so two pips in terms of a a slight breach intraday today. Now we haven't seen, I think, um, the breakdown of this yet. I think you need to see a close below that 56.66 level. So if you saw that today, I think that that could be just a continuation of this sort of slide just a minor near-term slide I think you've got in cable um, because what you do tend to see is this these sort of re- strong moves being retraced and I think that's sort of what you do still have in play at the moment although the um, momentum indicators are fairly sort of benign not too bad slightly corrective on the um, stochastics um, and the RSI nothing too significant yet though and I think this is still playing out as a bit of a medium term sort of bull correction that um, is likely to sort of form us for a, form a, another higher low at some stage I mean I'm s- at the moment just off the top of my head I'm looking out for this key pivot level 5650 sorry 5450 area um, which we've seen just act as a, a basis of su- um, support and then resistance so that is um, a prime candidate, I think, for a um, a bit of a, a sort of a pullback area if this correction just continues to go. But at the moment, cable's fairly sort of flat and neutral. Only 50 pips, I say flat, uh, 50 pips down on the day, but um, certainly not having seen the selling pressure that Euro had seen earlier. Um, although the Euro continues to climb back, actually, interestingly. But uh, certainly at the moment, cable isn't under too much pressure yet. to the downside. But if you do see a, uh, a close below 56.66, then I think that could be a continuation of that move. Now, in terms of the resistance levels, you'd, seal, you'll, you'd need to see cable pushing up above 57.70, which was this sort of congestion highs that we saw from 20, um, sort of Thursday, Friday last week. Um, momentum indicators slightly bordering on this uh, corrective slide RSI coming back towards 30 on the hourly and uh, not really being able to push above 60 so the fact is that you sort of midway at, uh, midway between the two at the moment if you if you look at it on that scale so it is um, still slightly corrective and maybe if you saw a, a, a little bit of a rebound that would be your chance to put a near term selling position on short position but it certainly is I think still playing out this um, sort of near term correction within this um, bull phase I think ultimately cable will end up being a bit of a choppy play over the next few months but certainly there is a, a for the time being near, medium term outlook is still positive on cable so I wish you good luck in your trading on cable today and I will speak to you later Thank you.